Hey, this is just a quick video on some Facebook ad uh, targeting techniques for um, running chiropractic offers. So this would be like for a chiropractic clinic um, looking to get in uh, new patients in like their local area in their city or a five mile radius or whatever around where their office is, um, something like that. So um, before we get into the Facebook ad targeting for this, which is actually... Um, you know, pretty straightforward um, and easy to get right. Um, I want to talk about the part of this whole lead generation process um, that's more important, and that's like the offer and the funnel and things like that. So, what I mean is, before you start running ads for a clinic on Facebook, you have to have something like this in place. This is a template um, example that kind of used to build new campaigns off of for people, um, and this is basically you know, what are you actually offering people in your ad? So you don't really just want to run a, a chiropractic ad that just doesn't really say anything specific and just links people to your homepage saying, you know, I'm a doctor or whatever, um, this is my clinic. What you want to do is put an offer out there in front of them that is attractive, that's going to pull them off of Facebook and think, huh, this is a really good offer. I now want to try out this clinic and get, you know, whatever it is that, you know, they've just advertised to me. So this is an example. Um, so, you know, get 8% off your wellness package, examine three adjustments for $79, okay? Regular price, uh, $399. These are all just example stuff, but this is the, the type of thing you need to be putting in front of people. So something that makes them say, oh, yes, this is something I need. This is an, a, a special offer that I can use to... Um, you know, get what I need, and that brings them into your business, and those are obviously the first step to turn them into like a long-term patient, okay? So you need to have this in mind first. Don't just go running Facebook ads. You need to think, what am I offering people? What can I give them that's attractive to pull them into my clinic? And if you have that, and you have a funnel like this in place um, to, to capture their information and allow you to contact them, then you have a good chance of succeeding with Facebook ads. But if you don't have this thought out, you can't just turn on Facebook ads and expect it to bring you new patients. No. So, um, this, by the way, is all built in ClickFunnels, and I've included the link for this uh, below this video, um, so you can get this template, which can just be drag and drop customized for your business, and all of this can be changed to you. Um, and if you don't already have ClickFunnels, then the link below just creates you a free trial account with this already in there, so you can use it. But you need to be sending people to pages like this um, or something with this similar structure if you're running Facebook ads, if you want to get the best results. Um, the, and the point of that is, you know, they see an, an offer on Facebook, you think, yep, this is what I want. They come to this page, which is not just a generic homepage, it's restating the offer, it's like, yep, this is what I came here for, this is what I thought I was getting. If they, they can read about it, they can watch it, the video you have here, see testimonials, and if they want it, click fill out their information and now they're a lead. You don't lose people, you don't get people lost on your homepage and people just clicking around. Um, you know, this is very um, targeted and it's the way 100% um, you need to be doing um, Facebook ads for a, um, for a chiropractic clinic. And this can all change based on whatever you want, but it's the principle that you need to keep in mind. Put an offer in front of people, allow them to easily sign up for it um, from, from an ad. And you do that with click funnels. Um, so now getting on to the ads. So we are trying to generate leads here. So going back here, you're trying to get a generate a lead so people fill out this this information. So that means for you want conversions from Facebook. So you pretty much always want to be using this conversions option when you're setting up your campaign. This is the first step. Um, so campaign name. We will get into the name of this in a second. Um, you're going to use your Facebook pixel to collect leads. So you're always going to use the lead um, option here. And this is just telling uh, Facebook what the goal of your, your campaign is. Okay. And then when we go down here, this is where people usually get a bit confused and a bit stuck. As, oh, who do I advertise to, et cetera, et cetera. So default is just United States 1865 men and women and obviously you want to target that down so first thing you want to do is location so I'm in Santa Monica right now Santa Monica the city um, by default Facebook adds 40 kilometers to whichever um, location you um, choose so what you want to do is either enter your city like I did or put the pin on the map 
um, where you want to advertise to. And you can either lower that threshold down to like 5 or 10k, or you can just do current city only, and then do people who live in this location. And now we have people between 18 and 65 men and women who live in Santa Monica only, all right? So for a chiropractor in Santa Monica, it's a good start. Now, um, depending on what type of uh, clinic you run and kind of clients you serve and the kind of things that you're trying to sell, you're going to want to, um, usually you're going to want to leave this to men and women, but you're going to want to narrow the age ranges down. So you can decide what is the youngest age you want to advertise to. Now, in chiropractic market, people might want to start at 30, 35, 40, 45. It's really up to you and the type of clients you want to bring into your business. All right. So um, don't leave it at 18 to 65, though. I'm just going to make this... Um, 35 to 65 plus because that's going to give us a nice broad um, a nice broad range of people okay so here are the three targeting options that you can do all of these work okay um, and all of these work I say that with, with the caveat that you've thought about this stuff we looked at earlier so the idea is people that you know, want a chiropractor or want to at least try it out or have a problem that you can fix, they're going to see your ad and they'll think, right, I've been meaning to do something about this, meaning to contact a chiropractor for months, this is now an offer I want to take up. So make sure you have that part down, okay? And if you do that and you put a good offer out there, then all of the targeting options we're about to look at are going to work for you, okay? So the first one might be a bit of a surprise is actually not to use any targeting other than this here and see if this works, like test it out small, like five or $10 a day. So you're gonna run to everybody in Santa Monica, men or women, 35 plus, and you're gonna run an offer like this to them, okay? And that might work, it might not. Um, I've seen it work a lot of times, okay? And it's gonna give you the, the broadest amount of people, so the biggest amount of people to target. So we have 31,000 people that are over age 35 living in Santa Monica, all right? And there's a good chance that enough of them are going to want to um, take this trial or this package to make this a good option for you. So you can definitely try advertising with no further targeting, all right? And that can work. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Just keep your budget small. Second option is to um, narrow this 31,000 people down to people that are, you know, a little bit more likely to either be interested in chiropractic services or are talking and engaging with content, talking about and engaging with content on Facebook related to back pain or, or whatever, okay? So we're going to layer um, a whole group of um, interests or, um, yeah, interests basically, interests and demographics, behaviors on Facebook um, that would indicate that. So we're starting with 31,000 people. So if we just type in the type in the um, most broad one. So if we go with like chiropractor, we're down to a thousand already, okay? So we're gonna need to add in a lot of these because we're, we're dealing with, um, we are dealing with a small amount of uh, people already, which is which was 33,000 people. So what you're probably gonna wanna do I'll look at the suggestions based on um, what we've put in. So I like to put in a couple, like a couple that tell face of what we're looking for. Then after that, we can start looking at their suggestions. So, okay, spine health, that's a good one, obviously. Um, a sciatica is good. So all of these, basically what we're going to have to do is just stack them up. We want to look for bigger ones. What you want to do is stack them up until you know you get over um, you get over you know well over a thousand. I like to get it over over ten thousand. Okay, so there's a couple of options here. Um, basically, uh, what I'm seeing is that um, the poor in Santa Monica, which is, I mean, it is a city technically, I think, um, but it's a pretty small one. So I'm adding these, and there just are not enough people. Um, you can see we're not even over a thousand yet, and I've added in like almost ten um, interests from from Facebook. So unless we can find 
a couple of others that, you know, like this joint doesn't really mean anything, it's just too broad. So unless we can find um, a few more chiropractic ones, which are going to be big enough, which it doesn't look like we are, we're going to have to go a, a different route, okay? So I'm going to go into that next. But if you're in a bigger, say you're in New York City, or you're in, you know, or in LA, I'm close to LA, but I'm not advertising to LA, LA or Phoenix or whatever, you can use this strategy, and you will see this pool of people start to go up, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 or whatever, depending on the size of where you are, and depending on the size of the pe pool of people you started out with. Here in Santa Monica, for me, this is not enough. Um, there are there are not enough people because we're not even over a thousand. Okay, I want to get to ten thousand minimum. So we're gonna go for something a bit broader. Okay, so we're gonna go back to um, go back to the suggestions from Facebook, but we're going to we're gonna look for stuff that's in in the millions. Okay, which gonna mean it's it's gonna be a bit um, it's gonna be a bit broader. So Things like health and wellness, um, you know, you can you can use those, um, and it looks like in this case we're going to have to because you know we're still only on two thousand six hundred, and this you can see is a huge interest. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to stack up um, things like that, and we are just going to try and get a pool of at least ten thousand people that show at least some um, some kind of affinity for um, kind of being being healthy and, and things like that, okay? So let's keep going. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to stack up ones like this. So I'm gonna choose like this is this is how I would do it if um, I'm scared of this. If I was doing it. I would basically um, I would take a load of these broad interests like they're a bit too broad, really, but in this area is what we have to, to work with because the smaller ones weren't working. Um, uh, it's not big enough. I would take a, a pool of these until we have, say, 20,000 or so people, and then let's do a healthy diet or something. So these people, we know they're at least somewhat interested in their health and well-being, okay, but based on these broad things. And we've, we've gone from, like, 30-something thousand down to 10,000 people. So what I would probably be doing is... If I was running this campaign in Santa Monica, which is you know too small to use very specific interests, as we've seen just now, um, I would start with broader stuff like this, get a good size pool, um, and then you know a, a, a good amount of people are going to go through. They're going to click. They're going to um, take the offer that we um, that we looked at just now, and then I'll probably be relying more on uh, lookalikes. So. Once we have this pool of people going to the uh, page we're advertising, which is going to be something like this, we can like take the um, the traffic that hits that page, and we can make a you know one percent lookalike of it. And I'm not going to get into to look like audiences here, but basically, if you have a newsletter list, um, a list of previous clients, or a um, you know a list of people that or a pool of people that have been on your website in the last few months in the Facebook pixel, you can build, um, tell Facebook to find 1% of all Facebook users that look like those people, um, and then advertise to those um, up here in the, the custom audiences section where you look likes, and you know, you're going to use that and then narrow it down to, down to this area. All right? And that's just because we're in, we're in a very small area in Santa Monica. So the options we have here are use these super broad interests, use lookalikes, like I just say, or take off all the targeting and just use this aging demographic, all right? And you, you can advertise to the small um, interest here, so people that list like chiropractic and stuff like that, um, but you know, you're gonna be less than a thousand people, so you're gonna get very little reach and very little results. So let's say, for example, let's do a different one. Um, if we were to, we were to change this to, let's say Phoenix, big city we're gonna do current city only people who live there now we have a lot of people all right so if we were to do the original strategy in a big city you'll see how it works a bit better we might want to start with so we're starting with 810,000 people over there on the right um, 
see if we look at things like um, that's not what I meant to write at all. All right, if we start off with the chiropractor here and see the suggestions, then okay, then we go, you know, spine health and back care joint stiffness. So people that are lumbar, people who are engaging or sharing or commenting on anything, anything that's kind of related to these interests um, or these kind of keywords on Facebook, we're going to build up a big pool of them. And we are basically just going to keep adding and keep adding. And you know, there's so many of there's so many of these. Um, let's just keep let's just keep going. Anything that you feel is relevant. Um, and as we start to build and build, okay, that last one was too big, I think. Move off that is. That was way too big. Um, so now um, we have you know twenty three thousand people that of all you know Facebook is saying that in some degree uh, in some capacity they are engaging or sharing or commenting or liking content related to all of this stuff, okay? So now we have people that are, are pretty um, pretty kind of targeted. Um, and some of these big ones you could even break out into their own campaigns, own ad sets like arthritis, you know, 17 million people. Imagine if we left this in here on its own, it will give you a good, a good chunk of this. So that is the different strategies that you can use based on the city you're in, okay? So if you're in a smaller area, you're gonna need to go broader and it's going to take a bit longer to work out who the, who the targeted people are. If you're in a bigger city like Phoenix, you can just add in add in all of these smaller targeted interests and build up a pool of people. And wherever you are, you can use lookalikes, like I said just now, um, based on your email list or whatever. And lastly, the other one you can do, especially if you're in a smaller city, is just run untargeted. So just use this. Um, set your age range demographics, take out all this interest targeting, and test out um, just running this good offer to, to people that fit your demographics in your area. So those are some ideas for, for chiropractors. Now, um, like I said at start, this is the most important part, getting this offer and funnel down. So the links below are for this. You can get this in ClickFunnels for free. Um, and then beyond that, if you want to learn more about actually making good offers, how to come up with you know things like this and, and the pages and other things you could do, and, and then more step-by-step -step stuff of how to actually promote that in Facebook ads, um, there's a Facebook ads training link, which is free below. Um, it's like an hour-long video, which you can register for. Doesn't cost anything and covers all kinds of strategies and funnels and targeting and step by step stuff for local businesses. Okay, so including like chiropractors, whether you're doing it for your own business or you're or an agency and want to do it for other businesses, it's way more in depth. So look for the link to the ClickFunnels template below, which is free, and the link to the Facebook ads training for local businesses. And below which is also free and you know through this resource and those two as well you should be well on your way to getting up a good campaign up and running all right thanks